Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Predictions are for a really good lay haunted meteor shower next week. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Every November, we are treated to a meteor shower which appears to originate from Leo the Lion. So we call this event the Leonid Meteor Shower. Last year, it was a dud because bright moonlight wiped out all but the very brightest of meteors. But this year, ta-da, there'll be no moonlight to interfere. So if you get far away from city lights and it's clear out, you should be able to catch quite a few. Plus, some experts predict a stronger than usual shower this year. Now, the best time to look this year is between the hours of midnight and dawn. Next Tuesday morning, November 17th, we've set up our skies at the midpoint around 3 a.m. facing east. We're halfway up from the horizon. You'll see the bright stars which make up Leo the Lion. Now, the front part of Leo is marked by stars which trace out a sickle shape or backwards question mark. And Leo's rear is marked by three stars which form a triangle. Plus, this year you'll see a bright light above Leo's head, which usually isn't there. Planet number four, Rouge Gold Mars. Now, every November, on the night or nights of the Leonid meteor shower, bright streaks of light, which we call meteors, flash across the sky and appear to come from Leo's head. But it's only an optical illusion because the meteors are millions of times closer than Leo's stars. You see, meteors are nothing more than tiny bits of comet debris that slam into our Earth's atmosphere so fast that they heat up and incinerate and cause gases in our Earth's atmosphere to briefly light up. Kind of like the gases in a neon tube. So the streak of light you're seeing is not actually the meteor itself, but the lit up gaseous path along which the speck is traveling. But where do these specks come from, you may ask? Well, most meteors are caused by comet litter. You see, every time a comet visits our sun, it sheds some of its tail. It leaves a trail of debris in its orbit. So after hundreds of years and dozens of passages, many comet orbits become filled with tiny specks of comet debris. The comet which causes the Leonids is named Comet Temple Tuttle. It last paid our sun a visit back in 1998 and won't be back again until 2031. But every November, our Earth plows right through Comet Temple Tuttle's littered orbital pathway so that many specks of debris slam into our Earth's atmosphere and leave the trails we call the Leonid Meteors. Now, most of these specks are very tiny and leave very faint trails, but there are always a few bigger specks and they can leave brilliant trails, which will make you gasp with delight. Because there is no bright moonlight this year, you can expect to see 15 to 20 meteors per hour, or even more if you follow the rules for maximum viewing. Simply get as far from city lights as possible and watch from about midnight to dawn Tuesday morning. Lie back in a sleeping bag or a lawn chair with your feet pointing east and slowly scan the sky back and forth. And if you do that for at least a couple of hours, you should see a few bright ones, more perhaps toward dawn. Do not use a telescope or binoculars. This is strictly a naked eye event, which is my favorite kind. See how many you can count in one hour's time. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Skywatcher is also available for $19.95.